He is bigger than life itself. That is how one of the people who knew Dale Jones describes the 47-year-old. The tow truck driver died Saturday morning when he was trying to remove a car from a ditch in Watertown. Another car lost control and hit Jones. In our top story tonight, Kelloland's Kelly Volk tells you more about the man who left an impact on many. It's the news Jessica Jones always feared. Her father, a well-known tow truck driver in the area, had died on the job. It was unreal. Something that we have dreaded happening for our entire lives. Dale worked for Performance Towing and Recovery in Watertown. Owner Andy Wicks met Dale nearly a decade ago. Been pretty tough. Dale was known for his laugh and his willingness to help others. He uh, he's the type of person that uh, you couldn't forget him. Um, if you met him, you uh, he made an impression on you with uh, within 30 seconds. His smile, his big booming voice, his love for helping people, his love for his job, his family. As Dale's loved ones cope with his loss, his daughter wants everyone to be more careful so no other families suffer this same heartbreak. Accidents are accidents. Nobody ever means for them to happen, but there's always something that can be done to prevent them. Because all she and loved ones have left is the memory of that unforgettable tow truck driver. <laughs> Kelly Volk, Kelly Land News. Dale's funeral is this Thursday. You can read the details and his obituary on this story on KellyLand.com. Another group of people who knew Dale well are the men and women in public safety. We sat down with a captain in the Watertown Police Department who called Dale a great, friendly guy. He also gave us an important safety reminder. It goes without saying that when, whether it's a law enforcement officer or an ambulance or a tow truck operator or somebody from DOT, when you see flashing lights, if you do see flashing lights, slow down, especially when the roads are slippery and that type of thing. Um, give a little extra room. And Captain Ellis says the crash is still under investigation and charges are pending.